Hey guys, so here is our 1946 Power Wagon. I'm gonna go over everything we've done to it, the backstory of the truck. Um, there's a lot of new followers on the truck, so I kinda wanna explain it all again. Um, some people don't catch some videos, so I'll make another post of it. Uh, so this is a 1946 Dodge Power Wagon. Um, it's been an awesome project so far. I mean, I can't describe how many bolts came off easier than a new vehicle would. Um, but, so starting off, this was at my dad's family farm way back. Um, so my grandpa bought it from a dealership that they got the truck from a, uh, from Iowa. It was an Iowa tow truck. Has the badges on the dash and everything. Um, he bought it from them. It had the boom on the back and everything for towing and stuff. Um, he made it into a tow truck, or not a tow truck, plow truck. And um, he plowed with it all the time. Uh, he pulled people out a lot. He put the thing in pulling competitions and stuff. Um, this truck's been everywhere, really. Iowa, Wisconsin. <laughs> um, but there was an issue with the truck. Uh, my grandpa was plowing up a hill and I don't know if it was too high, too high of RPMs or something and it blew the engine. Uh, the piston was in like three pieces when we took the head off. That was a good video that we made. It was a while back. So I don't know if y'all seen it or not. But, um, but we've got a lot of work done on this truck so starting back we it was down a hill kind of by it was by a barn on the bottom of a hill and up the hill was a driveway and stuff um, we had one of our friends with a tractor pull it up the hill for us so we can get it on a trailer and that worked out just fine um, the rear tires are locked up we still got to get that but um, I just don't want to dig into that right now I can't get the one axle shaft off on this side, so I can't get the drum off to look at the brakes and everything, so it's going to be a pain because the wall's right here and you can't get it out. It slides from this side all the way over there on the rear, so um, we'll have to figure that out. We might have to pull it out a little bit. Uh, as long as we can keep it in neutral, we can just tug it out for when we do the first startup. Um, but anyway, going on to the tires and rims and stuff. So that was a fun one. Um, the tires were on there. Um, when it was still sitting in the ground, we pumped up the tires. Uh, they were up for, I'd give it a good hour, and they blew up like shotguns. That scared us. <laughs> we were changing out the spark plugs, which, because we didn't know my grandpa thought it was an oil line that blew, but it turned out to be the piston. We found that out later on. Um, we were taking the spark plugs out, uh, and uh, them all snapped off. So we had to get an easy out and take them all out. Um, <sighs> anyway, going back to the rims and tires. Oh, yeah, we were taking them out, and the tires blew up. The one in the rear sounded, it was louder than a shotgun, I can tell you that. Um, but we got, once we got it back here, uh, we set it up on the side of the garage. We took the tire, rims and tires off. Um, that was a pain in the butt. Once we got them off and we tried taking the tires off, we had to take the ring off the, cause it's the ring setup where the ring holds the tire on. And um, it was a pain in the butt. We could not get the tires on there. It was like they're melted on there. So we saw all that all the way around. And then we threw them in the fire and burned it off. Got it out, scraped everything off. Um, we put them through a sand blaster, our outside sand blaster. Um, and got them looking pretty new actually. Um, and then we were waiting a while it was a while we could not figure out a way to get them tires on the these military tires 
we've got a good deal on these tires. It was 100 bucks a piece per tire. They're 38 size tires, military tires. We got a good deal on them. Um, but once I figured out a method back in November, I think, um, that was right after surgery. I figured out a way, just give me something to do. Um, and I got it off, or I got them on. I put them on a trailer, strapped them down, and I was tugging on them, holy moly. Um, but it got it far enough down so I could get the ring on it. And I, it was, the first one was pretty scary, trying to get that tire off, or tire on, geez, I think, and tire off. Um, anyway, um, trying to loosen them ratchet straps were a pain because you didn't know if the ring was going to go shooting off after all that pressure was on it. But we, I got lucky. I got them all done by myself. It only took me an hour and a half once I figured it out. So I wish we could have figured it out sooner. The truck would have been done by now. If, because, yeah. And then it was December, about a week in December this year, tw or last year, 2023. Um, we had to, or we pulled it up to the front of the garage. It's like right here. The front of the garage is right here. We pulled it forward and then we had our neighbor Selks pull out the engine, the old engine. Um, we got that out. We brought it in here. We had the really nice engine right here. The one that's in it right now. Um, yeah. We got that one in here. We took the transmission off. It took us a while to figure that out as well. Um, but we got it off. We got all the grease and everything off. I like to use wire wheel. It takes it all off right away. Um, I got them all painted up and we got it on to the engine that was right here. The one that's in it right now. Um, then a few, it was like a week and a half later after deer hunt and we got we pulled the truck up same neighbor with his bobcat picked up the rear end slid it around and pushed it in and we figured out the rear tires were locked up still i soaked them by the way i soaked them um once we got it in here the front end was not on here the lights weren't in or anything it was just bare there was nothing there um i got my mom came and helped me the one weekend for like a few hours. Um, I got the motor off the stand. We got the transmission on, the clutch and everything. And we put it in. We got it all hooked up. We put the motor mounts and everything in. Um, and started hooking up everything. Uh, it's kind of cool how these things go together. They're meant to not be torn apart. I can tell you that it's a bit of a pain, but it's in. Um, and then uh, a couple weeks later, we brought this in, the grill and the radiator. Uh, we cleaned up the radiator, checked for any holes. Uh, we painted the radiator and it turned out pretty nice. I don't know if you can see it very well. Um, I might bring the light back around, but I'm gonna bring you back there after we finish the front end area. Um, so we got the front end on, we bolted it all in, everything was set, and uh, I tried cranking the engine over with the old crank and the front here, and it snapped that bolt right off. The whole nut on the crank snapped it off. So we had to take the front end back off, and we put, it doesn't have the grooves for the turning crank. So, and just a few days ago, cause we could not find it for the life of us. This one right here with the grooves, you can see, so it locks in and turns it. Um, I could not find this at all. So we put the one that was on the engine that was this engine it was in a 50 dodge coronet yeah yeah i don't know it's been a while <laughs> um but 
that one had just the regular nut turn on style it didn't have the grooves for the crank or anything that was the only one I found and I wanted to get the front end back on so we can get some stuff done so I put that one on and then a couple weeks later I found that on the steps for the basement so that was a pain and I'm not taking the front end back off because this thing is heavy I had to pick that thing up in there by myself twice but it's on there it's pretty nice um, but, yeah, um, and I'm sure a lot of you guys will be asking about what kind of paint we used on the rims and stuff, because that was the only thing we painted on it, otherwise we're leaving it. Um, we painted it with, like, a tractor paint type deal. Uh, we put it in our spray guns. It kind of fades after a while, and that's what we wanted, um, we have the cans still sitting over there. I could really get it, but... Um, so, that's what we used for them. That was the first time I used a spray gun, the actual spray gun. Um, that was the first. It was... It didn't go too bad. Oh, hi, Doc. Where have you been? Hold on. Doc, stay. Come here. Come here, stay. Sorry about that. You can stay in here with me. Uh, back to it. Um, I gotta get new lights for these here. But otherwise, this is all in the period of two months. We got the engine in. We got everything painted, new engine. Um, I'm gonna take you into the inside and show you what we got done there. Um, the interior of the truck. I can take you in there quick. Um, it's been a it's been a journey I can tell you that uh, here so here's the interior now so the seats not fully in yet we're getting there um, but it's looking pretty good I got all the floor pans painted fix all the rust holes and the floor um, but Otherwise, it's coming together very nice. We're going to be putting panels right here for the door panels. It's going to be a metal sheet, sheet metal here. Uh, we're going to paint it the same color as the dash, and we're going to either do pinstriping on it, or I'm going to put my logo and stuff on it. Not too sure yet. And then we're going to do the um, clear coat stuff on here from Vice Grip Garage, which... I'll get into that in a little bit, but I got all the levers and everything painted for the transmission and everything. Um, all right, I'll get you back here now. Here, hold on. Um, so here's the box that we've been, we just finished a few weeks back. Um, so here they are. Here's, we had a piece of steel here. Um, I don't know if you can hear me. This heater's on right here. But, um, so here we put a panel in and a big panel on the back. I'm sure a lot of you seen the videos. Maybe you didn't. I have no idea. But we got these hinges. Here, I'll open it up for you. A lot of people are wondering why we did it this way. It's just going to be easier in the future if we since we did it this way um, this flips up this folds down and we've got storage area for whatever uh, we're thinking about putting a gas the gas tank in one of these since the one that's meant for the truck is rotted out uh, but we got all that done um, and you can see over here you can see the stacks up there those that'll come soon and then a couple of videos so that'll be here and we'll do that later on um, we also got the windows for the truck um, a few weeks back here I'll bring it back up to the front we can talk a little more that thing's loud so um, anyway set you up um, well, where was I losing my mind here uh, I got all the headliner pulled out of there it was like the day after we got the truck back in the shop. 
It was the first time it was in the shop in 40 years, so that's good. Uh, it just made it in the garage, just very close. I had to pick up, push up the door a little bit just to get it in. And that's with all the, the tires low to zero pressure. So, um, and it's still zero pressure in them tires. So it's pretty cool. These are tube tires. Well, they're not meant for tubes, but we put tubes in them. So, um, <sighs> we got windows, we got all the seals. We're just kind of waiting for it to be a little bit warmer out. So it's not rock hard rubber seals. Um, but I don't know. We're not even sure how we're going to do that yet. We don't know how to do it. We're just going to figure it out as we go. Um, but today I was getting all the overspray off the truck from spraying the dash. I didn't tape it off good enough, but I got it all off, which is good. Um, got a new mirror for it. Jeez, what else? Um, the steps for the truck, we're making and custom making new ones for that, for the steps to get in the truck. Um, those were shot when we got it. So the one wasn't even on there. You could pull it off if you wanted. Um, so that's part of it. Uh, just trying to think of recent things that we've done. Uh, I got the old carburetor work, working on that. Uh, we're going to see if the horn works once we get everything hooked up, all the electric hooked up and everything. Um, gauges aren't here yet. We're hoping they're here soon so we can get all that done and get all the switches and everything for the, like to start it up and everything, get all that figured out from, because it used to be a push button. You push it in with your foot and it'll roll over the engine and everything. Now we're going to electric start, so you turn the key or push a button to start it. We got a little push button for it that I'm gonna hook up into the key. Then we'll have a kill switch, flip up and down, kill switch. Uh, we got a solenoid for it. We, I just, we gotta figure out how to hook everything up. Uh, that's gonna be the worst part about the truck is the wiring. A lot of people know wiring sucks. I hate it, especially if you get it all done and it doesn't work. Anybody else feel that pain? Oof. <laughs> but uh, we're going to see if the motors work for the windshield wipers. I don't think we're going to use it much. I don't think we're going to use it in the rain much. Maybe the snow, but uh. those are actually electric motors. It's got an extra heater because Grandpa used to plow in the winter all the time. So it has an extra aftermarket heater. Um, yeah, this truck is definitely one of a kind. It's a shortened truck for, it was a tow truck. Um, we were trying to look for the boom for it, for the truck, but we didn't, we had no luck. We couldn't find it at the same place that we got the truck from. Um, but yeah, my grandpa did a lot with this. He towed his backhoe with it. Um, and I'm sure a lot of you guys are wondering, some of the new people, what are we gonna do about the paint? The paint, uh, Simple, we're just gonna put shine juice on it from Vice Grip Garage. If you don't know what that is, you can search it on, search it on the interwebs or something. I don't know. Um, which, I don't wanna wait that long, but July, we're gonna be doing it at Iola Car Show, maybe. We might be able to do it there. Um, we're gonna set up a tent there and do shine juice, the whole truck. Uh, this has a plow and everything, it's got a huge Y or V that sticks up from right here that has a pulley system. You can see it through the window right there. Uh, it usually has bars higher than the truck, but we had to take them off for getting it in the garage. Um, but they'd stick above the truck and there was another pulley on top and the pulley ran to the pulley that's right here in the front. And then it would hook up to the plow after that. There's a whole setup. I don't everything's heavy and the pain in the butt to hook up. So we'll figure that out later on. I don't know if we're gonna put everything on before we go to the car show or what, but that's something we'll figure out later on. I don't know what to tell you guys about that. I think we're just gonna take the truck how it is, put the hood on, get everything, get it running. It's gotta run for 
20, 30 minutes because it's never been ran. Um, there was no, when we took the head off of the engine, when we painted it all, there was no signs of it running. So um, at least we know that's good. It could be good, it could be bad. We just don't know yet. Um, I hope it's good because I don't want to tear this truck back apart. It was a pain in the butt getting it in and out in the first place. Now it's going to be a pain. <sighs> uh, we got to find headliner for it too. Um, unless we just paint it in there and make it look nice-ish. But, um, yeah, that's the story of the truck. Um, there's a lot that we've done in just these two months. New engine, new transmission, new or front end with the radiator. We painted the radiator, painted the whole engine bay, everything, and then put the engine in, front end, took the front end back off, put the front end back on, did all the floor pans, fixed all the holes in the floor, because I don't know if I brought this up earlier. This did not have windows for 40 years. Every, somebody threw rocks through the windows and broke the windows and um, it's been sitting in snow and rain and for 40, 50 years at the bottom of a hill. So I'm surprised it looks as good as it did. There was only a few pinholes in one of the pans for the floor because it's in three sections. It's got the middle, so it's like a middle pan where the transmission's right under it with all the levers and then the two side pans, which I bent the firewall getting the engine out when we had that our neighbors over that one day. But we got it good enough so that it'll bolt in. Um, we got to do a couple adjustments with it yet. Before we weld the seat, or bolt the seat down, uh, we got to do final welds and stuff and make sure everything's fit right. Then we're gonna drill holes in the floor and we're just gonna bolt it straight down. We don't wanna weld it because later on we might put the new or the old seat, original seat back in after we restore it. There's, it's just springs right now. And the seat that's in it matches the paint that we put in it. And it's probably more comfortable than the original, I'm sure. So come out of a, the back of a Tahoe, a third row seat. So, but yeah. I tell you what, this truck has been, it's been awesome. A um, couple little dings and dents here and there, but as long as we fix it, it's going to be good. Um, like here, somebody must have hooked a chain on the bumper here. Well, you can't even see it. I bet you you can't. Okay, yeah, you see it, the bumper right there? Yeah, you see it. Um, that was crinkled out. Somebody hooked a chain up to it and tried pulling the truck with it and tore the metal underneath the bolt and tore it out. Now I tell you, it's like quarter inch steel, um, but we, thank God for torches, we made it very, very hot and s used a sledgehammer, BFH, um, and got it back in from mo most of the way anyway. It looks a lot better, so it was like sticking out that far and now it's in. But I think that's it. I'll let you guys go. I don't, I don't know. It's been a long project. We got all the exhaust now. That'll be the next step. Putting the seat in, the exhaust, fitting everything, uh, then wiring. If one of you guys likes wiring, give us a call or something. Or message us, comment, I don't know. I hate wiring. Somebody else can come do it. Um, I just don't want to deal with that right now. Um, but like I said, it's coming along pretty nice. We did all this in two months. So really that's not bad. A um, lot of late nights, early mornings, all nighters. Yeah, it's, it's been good, I don't know. Uh project's awesome i don't know we got to figure out something with the steering wheel yet it's just the little things now 
and I don't really get the little things on video because it takes forever in videos you got to do so much editing at the end of the day it's just a pain in the butt so I figured I'd just do one full video for you guys uh, uh, good 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 couple little things to do yet um, there'll be more probably another update after we get all the gauges because that's when we'll do the gauges we'll do all the key the key switch take that out put the push button in then have a kill switch hidden in it so we could just flip the kill switch and push the button and start it so because if it's just the button somebody could just take it but I don't think anybody would take it well I don't know all depends on the person but um yeah it's been fun gives me something to do makes me want to stay home from school to work on it uh we got to get this done by spring beginning of summer so before that actually because we got to get our bel air in here 53 bel air we're gonna make that in a flamethrower car so we got to get this project done fast and i only got two hands so Dad's been helping me with like the seat alignment and everything. He helped me with the box and stuff just to get it to where it is. And then I welded everything and did all the little stuff. Tell you what, just that one box, I put at least 16 hours into that thing. From grinding all the old welds down to cutting out new panels to fitting it to... Ugh burning through the old metal and fixing it and welding and burning more holes it's just been a pain um, I know a lot of you guys work on the same vehicle so you guys you guys know it's it's fun but sometimes you have your bad days and you have good days it just yeah I don't know but I know there's more I'm probably forgetting a lot but it's almost a half hour video, so um, that's half hour I could have been working. I'm just kidding. I like doing videos for you guys. But, all right, I better let you go. I want to get that seat bolted back down or bolted in and everything. Uh, there'll be another video then. Um, after that, we're going to start with the exhaust. So if you guys want to follow along with that go ahead right ahead um we got all the exhaust behind us we got a couple new tools that for the exhaust um it expands it a little bit you turn it and it gets bigger and bigger and pushes it out so you can put another exhaust in it and then weld it in it's just, it should be fun uh, i haven't done exhaust in a while so we'll see how that goes um we just got to figure out between the transmission and transfer case how we're going to split it without it being in the way of anything and not too close to the floor. Ugh. It's going to be a pain, but once we figure it out, it's going to be worth it. So it's going to be, it'll go because it's one pipe, then it'll split into two, and then it'll come up right behind the cab, and we're going to put um, two or one on each side of the pipes it's going to clamp it down so that because it's a different type of metal it'll start welding right or not welding rusting right away we don't want that so and we're going to blue it as well once we get it on there um, then once we get all the wiring hooked up and make sure nothing's going to start on fire <laughs> we're going to put the hood back on and then ship it out the door for now and then get another project in this project has taken a lot of time, but at the end of the day, it's worth it. Um, but, all right guys, I'm gonna let you go. I gotta, I really gotta get back to work on this. I gotta get the seat done and start the exhaust today so that once the exhaust's in, we can start getting ready for first startup, which means it can start driving. So, yeah, but. All right, guys, I'm going to let you go. It was a fun, fun little video. So little, it was long, but <laughs> all right, guys, I'm going to let you go, and I'll see you guys next time.
See you guys later. Bye.